So you might be trying to figure out how you can use smart replies on iOS 18 or 18.1 at this point. Now to do this, it's very basic. You will have to have an iPhone that has Apple intelligence. So keep that in mind. As long as your iPhone has Apple intelligence inside of it, you should be good to go. So what we're going to want to do is we want to make our way over to our settings application, just like this. And we want to make sure Apple intelligence is on. So make your way over into your iPhone settings, just like this. I'm going to scroll down until you see Apple Intelligence, tap on it, and then you'll come into this next page. Now, all we want to do is make sure Apple Intelligence is basically enabled. That's the number one thing you're going to want to do. As long as this is enabled, you're pretty much good to go. Now, what Smart Replies basically looks like is if you go through, and let's say you go and have somebody that texted you, right? Well, what you could do is you could go through and have them text you, whatever the case is, and, you know, basically the keyboard itself will go and start giving replies to basically, you know, reply to automatically. Now, Apple has stated on their own website, in order to even have this even working, you want to go to your messages on your iPhone or iPad. You want to tap a conversation, you know, in the text field. Then you can tap on a suggested reply in the keyboard. It says Apple Intelligence drafts a reply in the text field. To refine your reply, you can use writing tools with Apple Intelligence. So if it automatically... So it'll automatically kind of just give you replies, you know, within the keyboard itself of what you can automatically reply to. And you can refine it further if you actually go and click here, if you actually click here and you can click on writing tools. So from here, what you could do is you can have, if let's say you have a you know, block of text already, you can have it refine itself. You can do it more friendly, professional, concise it. You can compose a different thing here as well if you want to. So you can use ChatGPT automatically to compose things within it. So... It really is that basic, and that's essentially how you use it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solon.